Hey what's up Amnesio Cole and today I don't really have a structured video or anything like that. I just wanted to talk about the hacker spaces from Watch Dogs 2. Now these are quite honestly my favorite video game environment or like hideout in a video game even more than Watch Dogs 1 and even more than Legion and I want to talk about that in this video. So first off Watch Dogs 2 is set in present day. I mean Watch Dogs 1 is also set in present day but it's just you you're just Aiden on this lone wolf journey this like Batman type journey. It feels so much different to be in the company of other DedSec members working together towards a common goal and also there are multiple hacker spaces around the map in Watch Dogs 2. There's one in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, Marin, and Oakland. Each hackerspace, as you know, comes with a clothes shop, a couch which you can sleep on to essentially skip time, and it also comes with a 3D printer. I don't know what it is, but something about when you first walk into the hackerspace after you start the game, Dead Sick Pirate Radio is playing in the background, you have all of the LED signs and neon signs, these hackerspaces really feel like a human made these, which obviously, yeah, environmental artists at Ubisoft put these together. It feels very dense and realistic and somewhere where I'd actually want to hang out, somewhere where I'd actually want to live. So I want to go through some of the hackerspaces and kind of talk about which ones are my favorite, which ones are my least favorite. So starting off with the one that is my least favorite is the one in Marin. Now this one actually you didn't have access to at the beginning of the game it's only after you have the mission with Lenny and Prime 8 and you're like in the bunker trying to solve the hacking puzzle that's when you unlock this bunker and that's actually really cool to have like an unlockable bunker and kind of what I hoped for with Legion and Bloodline how they had the hideout during the Bloodline storyline I kind of wish maybe you'd be able to go into it during the main storyline but I guess not so unlockable bunkers is definitely one of my favorite things even though it's only one bunker and it's only this game I really like that and I think it's it's really cool to be able to unlock something physical not just an ability but it's really big it's kind of messy and dirty i mean serves fine for a hackerspace but yeah that's my least favorite hackerspace next at number three we have the one in oakland which actually used to be a boxing ring and this one is also very big which isn't always a negative but for this i i kind of focus on like the coziness factor it definitely is a lot nicer and a lot cleaner than the one in marin i would definitely chill here for a while and number two we have the main one in san francisco now this one was a really hard decision to make i absolutely love the main one one of the biggest questions i've always had is how did they even acquired this basement did they just go to the owner of this board game shop and was like uh yeah we have all this information on you uh, let us use your basement as a hideout or we're, we're gonna leak it or um, are they friends with him? Like, what is the- I want to know the lore behind stuff like that. I always find that stuff really interesting. Like, everything, even after the main campaign is done, I'm always looking for more story. Like, what's behind this door? Or what were they doing before DeadSec? Or how did they build this giant lair in this guy's basement? Which is kind of like a Batman thing. Did you kill the guys who built the basement? Or- but yeah, I really love it. One of the things that I feel like would have really made this game special is if you could have played as Satara or Josh or Wrench or Ray. Um, one of the things that I've suggested a million times for Watch Dogs 4 is having a system like Legion where you can switch to different characters, but only having it within a few characters and not being AI generated. So honestly, one of the only things that could have made Watch Dogs 2 a better game would have been to incorporate all of them into the story and having them be being able to play as them like you did in the last mission, but throughout the entire game. So so the load wasn't entirely on Marcus and it would have been really cool to see them all like come back and, and convene at the hideout kind of like I mean it already kind of happens in the game maybe you have a mission where two people go out or maybe you have a mission where three people go out one of them gets captured you go back to base and you come up with a plan maybe the power gets knocked out and you get tra that would be a really cool mission the power gets knocked out in the hideout and you have to figure out a way to escape and maybe this is also the time when wrench gets kidnapped by the FBI but overall I think this hideout is really good it is really 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 satisfying from a level design standpoint or I guess technically it would be environmental art like all the decals on the floor you can see a clear difference between Wrench's area Josh's area Satara's area the signs all of the computers I, I especially love the computer wall it just feels like somebody or multiple people at Ubisoft spent a long time working on this hideout and it is really good quality honestly one of the best game environments or one of my favorite game environments small scale game environments and now let's talk about my favorite hackerspace 
in the game, and that is the one in Silicon Valley. Now, this hackerspace is just straight up built into a house in a neighborhood, which I think is really, really cool. It just has really, really cozy vibes in it. Like, I don't know how to explain it. You walk in, you have all of these TV screens to the left in the living room and to the right you have the kitchen and you have like a dead sick fridge and then we go back we have the room with the couch and the clothing locker and then if you go even farther back we have the kind of maker room where they have the 3d printer they have all the tools this is somewhere where i would legitimately want to live like this looks like such a cool place to be just having the dead sick pirate radio play in the background getting around with some friends maybe playing some video games hacking some corporations i don't know why but i've always felt drawn to this hackerspace it's felt better than the others in my opinion and i've just loved the vibe that i get from it i can't really explain how i feel so yeah i just wanted to make a video talking about hackerspaces i've been thinking about this video for a while there's no real structure to it but i just felt like it was something that i wanted to talk about let me know if you want more of these types of videos in the future and yeah hope you all enjoyed this video let me know what your favorite hackerspaces are down in the comment section below and i'll see you on the next video peace